Green 5, Quant Master jumped away. Quant Master's a half a length off early on. Josie Hustle, first one to respond. Quant Master head twisted awkwardly as racing in second, but Anton Marcus has him right there on the heels of the leader. Just off the first call, we're going to find Sherwin's Joy, Noble Beats between them. Night Journey, Chief Officer, the Black Cap toward the inside, Hidden Legacy, and Sweet Chin Music, the Red Cap toward the inside, five to make up. The favourite Quant Master asked to run coming to the 400 metre marker. And it's Josie Hustle who has the lead a half a length. Chief Officer becomes a runner. Now Quant Master looks to put it together. Noble Beats on the outside. Josie Hustle's on the inside. And now Quant Master comes alive on the grandstand side. And not even a roadblock would have stopped the favourite today. Quant Master's come through, driven right out to make sure he goes on. Chief Officer Noble Beat and Josie Hustle. Well, this favourite, Quant Master, he appeared a penalty kick. He looked one-way traffic, but he's a horse who's still not putting in 100%. You'll notice Anton Marcus, he drives him right to the post. They put earmuffs on him. You'll see he's still there giving him a few reminders, because last time out, of course, Gentleman's Way came through to Frank the form, but he just seems to turn it up. But today, he pulls out more. Chief Officer will come on leaps and bounds, second, Noble Beat and Josie Hustle. Quant Master, he is a son of Master of My Fate. And you'll see Anton Marcus goes after him earlier, flick down the neck, Josie Hustle. Chief Officer tries to move up, but now you'll see at the 200, Anton's about to pull out the whip in the right hand, and he's now going to go all the way. Quant Master, there you'll see a couple of reminders, and that's just to make sure that the punters will collect in race one, and Quant Master does the business. Well done to the Robbie Hill team. Races in his new silks for the first time, the Khalils and Hills. Red and white silks, back to the studio. Well, it's a nice start for the backers of the top one. Oh, well done uh, to the team of Robbie and Shannon Hill. Uh, also, Fast Fantine start with the son of Master of My Fate. Nice to have Patrick Khalil on uh, course, and he needs no introduction. A man that's passionate about the game, and uh, he never misses a meeting. And he's got involved here with Robbie in a share with this uh, individual who's got it right today. Robbie, firstly, hearty congratulations. Nice to see the horse break the duck. Yeah, 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 you know, when all sluckers get speech, you scratch your head. Sure, sure. <laughs> so we went back to the drawing board with him. Well done to Anton. He said he settled in nicely in second spot and he kicked on nicely today, which he hasn't done in his, in his, in his last races. And um, yeah, yeah, he won a nice race, you know. And then thanks to Pat. Pat Pat's got too many people to thank, so he's not coming on, he's not coming on TV because there's a lot, a lot of people to, to thank. So, um, yeah. He won't, he won't be doing a speech. While you've been away, uh, Shannon uh, and the team have been uh, having their fair share of winners, Robbie. Yeah, we've been doing well. You know, I've been in Joburg and then I haven't been coming to races and um, sending Josh. And, you know, the job's getting done, you know. How did uh, things go with the filly up in Gauteng, Camperatus? Oh, you know, I thought she ran a great race, you know. But, uh, look, she came from last, but that was due to the draw. She's not a filly you can use early on in a race, so... Um, that is what it is. She came from a long, long way back and ended up running three lengths behind. So a great run from her. And, um, you know, she, she does all her owners proud. She's done a lot of travelling uh, with her rating. Would you think about Cape Town as an option? No, Cape Town's not an option, thanks. Before you leave us, um, you know, you've got some nice runners later on. Uh, the public would uh, like your comments on your runners to come. Yeah, we got, we, we got Anton on board tonight and the other two horses both got good chances. Which could be your next best? Um, don't ask me that, please. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, well done, yeah. Thank you. Lovely. Let's get uh, Anton. Uh, Anton, fantastic. Uh, you know, before we even touch on this interview, uh, fantastic run from your horse in the Summer Cup, considering uh, the weight, etc. Yeah, these, I actually thought, I, I thought it was a phenomenal run. I think it was very courageous. I mean, in an ideal world, would I, do I want to race three wide? Of course I don't want to race three wide. You know, it was the, it was the hand that I was dealt. Yes. Under the circumstance, I actually thought I did quite well to get him to run second, you know, after being trapped out there, you know, I bided my time to make sure that he ran on. Sure enough, could he be deemed an unlucky loser? Of course he was an unlucky loser. Had he been drawn one to eight, uh, 
of course he would have won the race, you know, but um, as I said, I thought it was a great run. And uh, I've actually got no complaints, these. Thanks for that. You know, it's, uh, it's just a post-mortem. It's a week ago. It's history now. We'll yes. uh, live to fight another day with him. But coming back to this individual, Robbie and Shannon seem to have picked the right race for him. I think Robbie has. Just a big thank you to Robbie. Robbie's been absolutely fantastic towards me since I've come back, and I really appreciate the support. He's, he's really, really good to work with in the mornings, you know. I thought this was my standout, these. I really, you know, often jockeys say that after we won the race, but on paper, I really thought that if I was going to have a winner tonight, it was going to be him. And I thought the balance of my rides are competitive without any of them really standing out, you know. I think Robbie's also into the future's a nice type, but I'm really of the opinion that he'll be more effective when he steps up in trip. The last race, do you make it a two-horse race, yourself and Warren on uh, uh, the Fanzel horse? You know, based on reputation, I thought, um, I thought Dancing Feather very, very hard to beat. You know, the collateral form lines with, with Mary O, you know, I'd like to think that Dancing Feather is considerably better than Mary O. You know, obviously I'd, uh, I'd be delighted to win it, but I mean, if, if I had the choice of a particular ride in the race, I mean, Dancing Feather would have been my first choice. Thanks for that, Anton. Thanks for coming back, and all, all the best to yourself and all the other boys for the rest of the evening. Please, thank you. Just to Wayne Belinda and the boys. Cheers. Nice one. That's uh, Anton Marcus. You heard that Patrick Khalil, we congratulate him. Uh, he's uh, uh, not going to be coming for the interview, but well done to Patrick and, of course, Robbie Hill, the owners of Quant Master. And then for our Hollywood presentation to the groom that wins himself 1,000 Rand, Sitzle Machachaya. Well done to you, Sitzle. Congratulations, receiving from Precious Imbata, the race day promotions manager at Gold Circle. Okay, that's it. Race number one done and dusted. Up next will be the start of uh, the second exotic. It's place accumulated time. And uh, what's the time? 17.57 is the time to jot down. It's an apprentice race that will kick off the PA race number two.